Okay, just a short update on my kinetic sculpture. Got it running fairly well. And look at the mechanism. I changed it just a little bit. Make it a little more. Let's see how that works. A little bit frustrating in that adding a three gram washer five centimeters off the axis will completely change how the whole system works. I've spent hours balancing it trying to get a nice random looking motion out of it. It's doing pretty good. I've got the back wheel pretty much where I want it. This front one just to keep it moving in a random motion. It's a uh, it's a challenge. Got the the weight engine. Of course, the holder for it's going to be much nicer, but and the weight itself is going to be nicer. But other than that, it's pretty much where it needs to be. I don't think I've got it where I want it. The frustrating part is I've still got to do a whole bunch of finish work on the on the wheel, which is going to throw off the balance. So I'll have to redo all of this. But that's all right. That's what I do. Let it run for just another minute or two. Get my finger out of the frame. The blue tape on there, some magnets taped to it with some little bitty washers added to it just to balance it out. Well, a couple of big washers and then a whole bunch of little bitty ones just to balance it. I like it. I think it's going to be cool when I get finished. Don't buy cheap bearings. I had to soak the bearings in mineral spirits and re-lubricate them just to get them to where they'd actually run free, but it seems to be working now. There we go. Yeah, that, that, that's looking pretty good. I kind of like that. Yep, it's looking good. In my last video, I said I was going to copy David C. Roy's, I don't even remember what it was called, way beyond my ability. I'm just cutting stuff off of this and trying to make it work. Okay, I'm going to stop it now.